Welcome to a Wayne County Bicentennial Minute in celebration of Wayne County, New York's unique history, which spans 200 years and is historic to the core. Never Sweats, narrated by Bruce Farrington. Wayne County was located in what was once known as the Burned Over District. The phrase is a nickname for Western and Central New York and comes from a quote by Charles Finney, the father of American revivalism, who explained in the 1870s that the region had seen so many revivals in the previous decades that it no longer had any more fuel to burn. And as the religious flame lit each soul in this area to adhere to a religion, out of the Wayne County fervor came three new ones, Mormonism, Spiritualism, and the Never Sweats. The Never Sweats originated in the town of Rose circa 1822. Much of what we know about them comes from a book called Rose Neighborhood Sketches that took information from the 1877 book The History of Wayne County, which tells us that the Never Sweats had been called good men and women who did not like the form and ceremonies of the church, so withdrew and held meetings in the Spunk or Jeffers Schoolhouse. They had no organization. Everyone did as he or she thought best, and they are said to have spoken in unknown tongues. People of the time recall that the meetings were spirited affairs and went long into the night, sometimes until nearly morning. That's where the expression, we hold on till morning and never sweat a drop, came from. Rose Neighborhood Sketches goes on to tell us that though the never sweats are numbered with other defunct bodies, there are many people in the vicinity who, impressed by the peculiar characteristics of these people, do not affiliate with any church. They claim to be and are an excellent people, but when asked to what religious body they belong, the reply is, he is or I am a standalone. Until recently, no one knew the fate of the Never Sweats. This changed when Larry Ann Evans and Linda Stevenson of the Wayne County Museum began writing the play A Tea Out of Time, which included a Never Sweats woman from Rose. During their research, by happy coincidence, they discovered a religious group called the Standalones in Wild Rose, Wisconsin, that were the former Never Sweats who left the Rose area in the 1850s. The Wild Rose Historical Society shows that at least 50 local citizens belonged to the church at one time, including such family names as Jenks, Jeffers, Pierce, Etheridge, Peace, and Darling. The society has photos and records of these former Wayne County residents and a good amount of their genealogy. Although the Never Sweats are no longer in Rose, in 2020, the town of Rose was awarded a Pomeroy Legends and Lore marker commemorating the Never Sweats. It is installed on the Wayne Center Road near the intersection of Covell Road.